Hi everybody, Perry Ellis 18 Orchid. What a great color, right? I love this color, as you might could tell by my lips and my scar. Um, Perry Ellis 18 Orchid came out in 2006 and it's considered an amber floral. I got this, which came in this box, um, at Ross. Great color, right? I totally, the color totally pulled me in. Um, and this was $16.99. To be honest, I would have rather if they sold it just this for whatever price. Because I really don't have a lot of use for the body spray if I'm getting this. Because um, they're usually so light anyway. And this is fairly light. Um, so I was pulled in by the color, this pretty purpley pink magenta with the gold. Some people say they don't like the bottle, but I actually do. My daughter pointed out that she thinks it looks like a vape, <laughs> which it does. kind of does. <laughs> or you said like a genie potion or something. I feel like I could see it in like a gypsy's wagon as they like come by with boho fabrics and beads. Boho fabrics mm -hmm. and beads. And <laughs> like hoop earrings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to make this short and sweet and then go into detail because my daughter thinks more highly of it than I do. Um, I was lulled in by the color and the fact that when I Googled it real quickly, it I saw the notes of berry, which is a dewberry, I just guess was maybe kind of similar to raspberry, and amber and patchouli and vanilla, and this is November right now, so I was thinking, oh, let me try this for a fall fragrance. It'll be like berry and sweet and warm. Um, kind of it is, mm -hmm. but... Um, so that pulled me in, and I saw a few reviews, uh, and I'll get into that later, a uh, couple of the other reviews. And then I saw mixed comments on Fragrantica, but I didn't read thoroughly. So I just grabbed it with wanting something um, kind of like warm and berry-like for the fall. Now, when I got home and sprayed it on my clothes, short and sweet for me, I'll tell you my honest first reaction was boring, Kitty fragrance. I don't need this. It's pointless for me to have this. Love the color. Love the gold and the magenta. Um, it didn't think it was very strong because when I read, some people said that it had pretty decent longevity uh, and then others said it was more like a body spray and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, it's really weak. And I really was not getting the berry. That was after spraying it on my clothes. I will say that after I sprayed my skin, the berry popped on my skin, the berry and the other fruits. Uh, so I'll just, oh, also I was lulled in by the main accords, y'all. So when you look on Fragrantica, it says main accords are fruity, vanilla, sweet, amber, tropical, white floral, warm, spicy, patchouli, fresh, and aromatic. Well, I like fruity, I like tropical, I like aromatic, I like patchouli, which by the way, uh, is almost non-existent in this patchouli. Do you even get any patchouli? I don't I don't really get patchouli no I at first I didn't get the berry but I'll let you go ahead well so I got the berry after it was on my skin I walked back through the house and I kind of became I guess asnomic to it because even though it's present it's a lighter scent and so I just thought what a waste of my time you know no offense I don't like really like to knock fragrances in general but like just for me personally like, uh, that's disappointing. Um, I'm not getting much of anything other than like sweet, slightly powdery, kind of showery, shampooy, uh, generic. I was thinking bland, generic, nothing to it. Uh, pleasant, but pleasant, not unpleasant. I never thought it was unpleasant. Yeah. But then my daughter was like, no, you just walk through the room and there's like a trail behind you. So mm -hmm. I'll let you carry on with that. So earlier my mom was walking through the kitchen and I walked by her room and like just now when I cracked the door open, with the door cracked open, I could definitely smell it. I know you said you had sprayed it a few times. I, I definitely I sprayed a good bit. I definitely don't think it's unpleasant in any way. I think that it is. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. I think that it. At first, I did not get the berry. I definitely got the berry the more my mom smelled it on her, or sprayed it on her skin. And uh, I think it's light. It, like, it definitely trails, but it's not one of those, like, sharp fragrances. Like, it's not, like, piercing my nose in any type of way. 
If you're like under the age of 18, I feel like this could be pleasant. Or if you work in a work environment where, like we talked earlier, where it's like maybe people are sensitive to smell. Kind of like a sterile office environment or something. I feel like you could get by with this because it's pleasant and it's it's probably stays with you some, but it's not loud. Yeah. Even when it's strong, it's a softer style fragrance. It's, yeah, it's a delicate fragrance. I, I think that if you like powder and you like berry but not overly sweet berry then maybe this is the fragrance for you but I do think I get what my mom's saying about it being kind of generic and you know it's not like if you're a fragrance collector I could see why it's kind of a boring fragrance because it's not super outstanding it, there's nothing super crazy about it well sometimes you know I like a lot of the niche stuff in, but it, sometimes I get cheapies where it, there's still something about it that stands out to me yeah. Like it's, you know, even if it's not complex, it's kind of different. Um, I don't think this ahead. is a super complex scent. I think it's warm and soft and inviting. I think if you're under 18, it's very appropriate uh, because it's not overpowering and it's not like grown woman necessarily smell. I think a grown woman could wear it, but I think it would be maybe more appropriate for someone who's under 18, you know, going to school and stuff like that. Well, I could. Yeah, any age could wear this. Like, for a grown woman in a more... I see how it would be more present in a more sterile environment, you know, like mm -hmm. in, whether you sit in a cubicle or some other kind of office, you know, where you're not really supposed to have any loud fragrance. So any bit of fragrance you're very much aware of. Yeah. It, the, I still feel like you get away with this one because it's a softer style fragrance. It does remind me of like a body wash, like the Caress body washes. Somebody it, said that. Somebody said in a comment, one of the Caress body washes. Mm -hmm. but... It, it kind of reminds me of the purpley Caress body wash. It's not super strong, but it definitely trails. And like, you, even with the door cracked or like walking by it, I could smell it. So it's well, definitely... I was pleased to hear that. that it's pleasant. You... I think you go nose blind to it because it's a more delicate, softer fragrance. Um, but I, like, for someone like my mom who wears a lot of louder perfume, not in a bad way, it's not a bad way at all, but like, like example, Atomic, Atomic Rose is, it, it, you smell it, you smell it and it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. So one of my favorite blends, y'all, mm -hmm. one of my favorite scents of the day is to blend Atomic Rose and Spirito Florentino. Mm -hmm. I, oh, it smells so good. It smells so bomb on me. I concur, but... <laughs> I will say that this is definitely more... And, and let me tell you quickly, another one of my favorite blends to put together is Kirke and Sue Phillips Fruity Blend. Oh mm -hmm. my God, Kirke is already fruity, but when you put the bright, aromatic Sue Phillips Fruity mix on it, oh, it's just it's nice. Go yeah, ahead. I definitely think it's pretty. I think it's delicate. I don't think it's outstanding in any way. Like, I think if, no. if I if I smelled it on someone, I'd be like, oh, you smell nice. But I wouldn't be like, what's that burger? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't have to have it. Uh, there are definitely things I would choose over this. But at the same time, if it was in my wardrobe or my vanity, like, I would definitely, I might would spray it. Like, I, you know, I don't have any problems with it. It's not super complicated. It's not like I'm picking up on a bunch of different layers. It's it's a, it's a touch of powdery. It's floral. It's berry, but it's not sugar berry. It's not like super sweet strawberry or... And it's not super juicy berry mm -hmm. or, or even super bright berry. In fact, I think uh, a little tiny bit of what the brightness that it does have, like I when I... Can I spray it? When I actually, yeah. When I actually smell the cap... I guess you're getting that dewberry, but I think what's even allowing you to smell the berry is the fact that it also has the bergamot and passion fruit. And I'll go over the notes in a minute. You could spray, yeah, spray it. Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, spray on camera so they can see the atomizer. It's well, a can normal. I spray on this? Go ahead. And spray so they can see. I don't want to spray it all up in your face, but sorry, I'm a heavy sprayer, y'all. I mean, it's a decent atomizer look. I mean, it's just sprays smoothly. It's I like the way the bottle. I like the way the bottle fits right in your hand. Personally, this is of course is the smaller size, but I find that very nice to hold. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. that's a nice. Could y'all see that? Yeah, the spray is a nice healthy. It's spray. a decent uh, healthy mist. To it. <laughs> yeah, and um, it, you know what? It smells nice as you're wafting it around. It does smell nice. Now I'm smelling the berry. Yeah, I mean. And it is pleasant. I am not going to say it's unpleasant. It's a pleasant fragrance. It. I don't find it to be like a defining fragrance. Now, I. You go ahead before I say 
I would call it more... It is nice. It's kind of shower fresh, though, too. It is. Something shampooy about it a little. It I reminds think that's me, the jasmine. Yeah, it does remind me of, like, a gel body wash. Um, it's a little more strong when you first spray it, and I am picking up on other things now that I'm sitting here, kind of spraying it for myself. Um, I think that I pick up on more of the amber than I do... Um, amber can be powdery and, like, oriental type. Mm-hmm. I pick up on amber and floral first off and like the the powder is definitely there but it's not like over it's not super powdery by any means hold your thought and but when you're done remind me to say two things uh, another reviewer i watched i want to mention who was a very cute little reviewer mm-hmm. and also i want to mention now it's gone i forgot it oh, no. already oh no oh the seasons i want to talk about that Go yeah on. i don't so much I guess I could see it being tropical. I guess it's kind of cold outside, so it's kind of like it, like your mental state has so much to do with fragrance. I think it's the passion fruit mixed with the white floral and uh, um, that they're kind of pulling towards like a tropical vibe. Passion fruit is tropical. That one note specifically is tropical. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not the most tropical scent I've ever smelled, but I guess I could see what they're saying. It's definitely a warmer, more delicate scent. Um, it I, does have the vanilla and the tonka. So. Mm-hmm. I don't hate it by any means. I No, there's nothing to hate about it. I think this would be a great scent to layer with if you have Twilight Woods by Bath & Body, if you have Pure Wonder or any other like kind of sweet, brighter fragrance. Maybe I feel like that would be... Like, I go for a lot of the body sprays and stuff. I feel like that would layer really well on top of this. It kind of has the warmness of Twilight Woods, but not quite that. Now, see, we... My daughter and I were just talking about this before the video. I could totally, I could make this useful in my collection because certainly you could layer it probably with a lot of different things and it would be nice layering with different things. And I said in another video, I have noticed that younger people don't seem to mind as much reapplying and spraying a lot throughout the day and you love to do that and refreshing Mm -hmm. and refreshing. I sometimes don't mind doing that, but I don't like to have to do that much, Mm -hmm. you know, but go ahead with what you're blends you were thinking about some of your favorites you can see it i definitely see it like pairing with like the if you see a fragrance that's a body spray that's purple and it kind of has that warm dark kind of a vibe to it i feel like that would go well on top of it or if you have like a sugary berry kind of fragrance that's a little bit brighter or zingier maybe that would go good on it um Now, see, what gets me is some people call this, like, a very deep, sensual fragrance. Now, that, it is not deep and sensual. I would, I I get dark, but I don't get sensual, necessarily. I think it's kind of delicate to be super sensual. Maybe, yeah, if it's sensual, it's sensual on the delicate spectrum. Something else that caught my attention is that, you know, it had, like, the note, the fragrances that it's compared to, and one was Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle, so that caught my attention, uh, I think a few votes said uh, somewhat similar to Calvin Klein Euphoria, which is definitely deeper than this. Um, so I, I did want to say, too, uh, I tried to watch most of the reviews I saw for this fragrance were in Spanish, which, by the way, I think I'd like to. I think YouTube allows you to add subtitles. subtitles. I need to like start adding subtitles to all my videos for at least Spanish Mm-hmm. A lot, you know, that's widely spoken, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so, um, so, but what, even though I couldn't understand, I could see their expressions and then I go through and look at the comments. Mm-hmm. This is after I got home, y'all, not when I was in the store. And so I just like to read the comments. So uh, you could hit translate on those and read the comments, you know, mm-hmm. but, uh, one of the English reviews that I saw was a delightful young lady, um, And I think she reviewed a couple, but she really, really liked this fragrance. And she, I can't think of her name right now, but y'all will see her if you look up this fragrance on YouTube. A beautiful little young lady, and she really loves this fragrance. And she said she just gets a lot of compliments. And she looked to be high school age. I could be wrong, and I apologize if I am, but, and I thought to myself, yeah, you know, I could see, um, a person in high school wearing this and even though this came out back in was it 2000 2006 like I love a lot of the uh I actually love a lot of the the fashion shop fragrances like American Eagle and everybody knows I love SoCal by Hollister yeah but uh 
You know, a lot of the young girls uh, and guys wear a lot of those, but maybe if they wore this, being that it came out in 2006, it would stand out to their classmates yeah. because it's not what's being sold in the fashion shop right now. Yeah. Exactly. So I could see maybe a, a high school person this standing out because it's not exactly what everybody else is wearing mm -hmm. and it is pleasant. I almost get Winterberry vibes from this. Like, I don't really necessarily... I, I guess I get the passion fruit kind of vibe. I don't really get tropical. Like, I imagine, like... When I first sprayed it on my clothes, I wasn't getting that fruit. It wasn't until it hit my skin. But now I am smelling it when you spread it directly mm -hmm. on here. And I can smell it when I hold the bottle up. But I don't think it's ultra berry. I think it's the bergamot and the passion fruit that's even lifting the berry enough at all. Like it's allowing you to smell that dewberry, which by the way, when I looked up dewberry on Fragrantica, it really didn't explain it. It's just like berry family, mm -hmm. you know, which I like berry. I do get berry. I do get something yeah. deep and or dark ish, like of the amber, you know, I, I get the jasmine. And it's, the, it's, it is ambery. Orchid or something like that. It's sweet, ambery. I guess berry. I, I, I'm not denying that there's berry. Is that I think there's more of those fruit notes. That's it does admit compared more. to other berry fragrances that I have, like actual raspberry. And, mm -hmm. you know. It definitely emits more of like a shower gel or body spray vibe. Even the perfume itself, I feel like, mm -hmm. is very faint. A, a strong shampoo, even sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's unpleasant in any way. I mm -hmm. feel like it's something that you may become nose blind to as you wear it. Like, I definitely could see why my mom wasn't smelling it as much now that I'm sitting in here. But as I was walking by, like, foreign to the smell, like, from another room, like, it definitely, you smell it. You Which know? is a plus. That was good to hear that at least you did smell it when you walked into the room. But mm -hmm. I had sprayed y'all a lot. I was like, I'm going to give it a really good mm -hmm. chance here. And give I really sprayed myself. And a lot of times with fragrances, when you, obviously, you guys know, when you shift the temperature, the, the fragrance will pop, whether you shift from cold to warm or warm to cold. So it is very cold here in South Carolina tonight. Well, y'all have colder, colder temperatures, depending on where you're at. But <laughs> yeah, I think it's like down to 27 tonight. Mm -hmm. So that's cold enough for me to say cold. It's, it's below cold freezing. For me. Yeah. And um, it really, I mean, of course, it refreshed it when I went outside. But it didn't really pop. And I found that interesting when I look on Fragrantica, you know, and people vote on winter, spring, summer, fall, day, night. Um, first of all, I think this could be day or night. It's not real specific. If you had to lean more towards one, maybe day. But because I don't find it sexy enough to be like powerful enough to be night. But when I went, a lot of people voted um, for this to be uh, in the fall. The fall bar looks the most full, doesn't it? Yeah. That one's completely filled up. Well, that's May what I would vote. Would you? Maybe Winter. so. Winter and fall. even though this is being, it's defined as an amber floral, I suspect that this might be nicer in the summer. And I, I might even like it better in the summer because I don't think it has enough enough depth, in my opinion. I don't think it has enough weight for this cold weather, like in, in heat, like amping things up or whatever, maybe this would be more uh, prevalent and pleasant, especially with the shampooiness to it. Maybe like that, a little bit of powdery shampooiness mm -hmm. with that berry, with that tr so-called tropical passion fruit. Um, because this really doesn't have a lot of base to it, in my opinion. I don't want to say it smells cosmetic, but it kind of <coughs> reminds me of like, uh, a lip gloss or something like I I don't know how else to describe it but I do get like the body wash body spray vibe um I think that the closer you get to it the sweeter it smells I think from afar it's more flower floral and powdery like if I hold the pillow away or if I'm just like standing from afar but the closer I get, get the that. more it smells very sweet um and I d it reminds me a little bit of I don't remember the name of it but it's something fantasies and if you go into like CVS or Walmart, they have the little purple bottles that are like kind of in the curvy body shape. Uh, they're like this big. They have the big tall one too. And it's a purple bottle. They smell like, uh, but they're like body sprays. You know, it's nothing, it's nothing super strong or anything. But if you know what I'm talking about, they're kind of like, like a curvy lady shape slightly, but they're a clear bottle. The fragrance is purple. 
and they 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 smell they sell like a sweet pea one, all of that. That kind of reminds me of the purple one. Um, I don't think. How much did you pay for this fragrance? So this again, this was sixteen ninety nine, and I wish that the Ross had the option of just buying the perfume because I think for not much more, if it was just the perfume, you could even get like the well. I don't even need it, but I'm just saying for those of you who do, like in other words, I'd rather not pay the price for this and the body spray, which is how this came. I do really love the colors. I like the bottle personally. I like the, let's do, my daughter said it's ASMR, y'all hear? I was like, I like the middle bottle. <laughs> I do so many. Anyway, I do like it. It fits good in your hand. So. Mm -hmm. I anyway. think the hold is great. The spray is great. I think it's a pleasant fragrance. This spray is good. I think that it's not one of those, like, it's not a killer. It's not like you're going to be overpowered by this fragrance in any way. I think you could spray it infinitely. And as long as you're not severely sensitive to fragrance, you're going to be just fine. Um, it's not piercing. It's definitely it's not offensive. No, it's not it, offensive. It's pleasant. I just, I don't think it's any kind of signature fragrance. I don't think that it's particularly memorable. You may be memorable and it may become memorable because of you. But the fragrance itself is not a memorable fragrance. I could see someone being very young, like in high school or it, middle school, and really yes, enjoying it. But this yes, fragrance. that's I totally agree. Um, I'm I think when I post this video, I'm gonna try to go back and look. You all could look it up yourself, but maybe I'll get the link to this young lady's review because I I get the impression because she's even said, Well, me and my best friend, we met up at the mall later. I'm pretty sure she's like high school age. Mm -hmm. Or at least when she did the video. Um, and I could really see that. I I could see if anybody viewing is, if y'all are in that age group or if your family member is, I could see this being very nice. And I could see their peers liking it on them. Mm -hmm. And it's it's soft enough. It's soft isn't even the right word. It's, it's pleasant. It's not overpowering in the sense that enough that they could you know, wear it at school in the classrooms yeah. or whatever. Like it's not Walking get... down the hall, she probably did turn some heads in the high school or middle school yeah. or whatever, you know. They probably do like this, so I'll give it props with that regard. And uh, layering, or like I said, if you just like some more subtle things and like in the office. It does uh, project. I will say that even though it's a delicate fragrance, I smell it from five, ten feet away okay. on my mom. So, like, I definitely think it's a sweet, soft pleasant fragrance i don't know how i don't know that it's like i have to go out and get this fragrance but if it was gifted to me i would definitely use it um i would layer it with like if it were me i wear a lot of pure wonder i wear a thousand wishes i love I love that color viva la juicy i love those kind of fragrances so that way you can get an idea of what my ideal fragrance is i love twilight woods and all of your blends smell fabulous on you by the way thank you, you personalize and layer in a gorgeous way thank you i could definitely see something shimmery and bright and pretty layering on top of this or something sweet and berryish or like dark ambery kind of sexy you could go on top of this um on this fragrance it's very layerable mm -hmm. like it could be yeah. a base for a lot of things well Definitely. if you wanted to refresh your car like I especially if you wanted to not overwhelm people and spray your yeah, car and you make could. it smell That's really what nice use the body spray for if, if y'all's ross only has this where you have to get the perfume and the body spray you have your car smelling good yeah for when you do or a girl or whoever by the way let me add to this too i don't know if uh, can't speak for everyone else, but I actually often like to smell women marketed fragrances on men. And this being almost kind of almost kind of oriental with the amber. The amber can be slightly powdery um, and warm, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, just with the berry and fruit, I, I feel like a dude could wear this because it also has shampoo cleanness to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, or I, however you identify. I hate even making things gender, but, you know, we all know how things are marketed. So this is obviously marketed as a, a woman's feminine, perf fragrance. feminine fragrance. Yeah. Um, I definitely, I could see a man uh, spraying this as in in, in part. Um, I really could. I Honestly, not that it smells masculine. There's not, not a darn thing masculine about it. Yeah, I it, just feel like. It's not cologne in any type of way. A male identifying person could wear this yeah because i don't think it's like like a big flower bouquet in your face no is what i'm saying like no, no. you know it's got the fruit to it so i i could definitely 
I could see someone spraying down their couch or spraying down their car with this and it would be totally pleasant and it's not overpowering or anything like that. Like I often spray my room or when I, you know, when I did drive my car around, I would spray softer fragrances like that in it. And you've been in LA Ubering everywhere. Yeah. So, but you know, I definitely think it's pleasant. It's not super outstanding in any way, but at the same time, if my little cousins were to wear it, I'd be like, oh, you smell so nice. Cause it's appropriate in the sense that it's not. Like, it's not in your face for me, you yeah, know. Yeah, I, th- I think if y'all have teenage uh, young Children, people yeah. in your house, I think they could. And again, I want to emphasize, I could see how, since this isn't one of the fragrances in the little fashion shops right now. It could be I, standing out. I could see it could be standing out for particularly your middle schooler, or high school school, high schooler. That doesn't mean, as a, like I said, a grown woman can wear it too. Yeah. It's just... It's not what I would reach for. I, I've got plenty here. And even for layering, if I reach for it, it would just be because I want to put it to use. Um, it's For me, it's not, even though it's pleasant, me personally, it's not a reach for me. Um, I get warm, clean, which is very... Nice. When, like, if I was going to go out on, like, a date and I didn't want to be overpowering because somebody has asthma or something, you could totally wear this. And and I feel like it wouldn't be over the top, you know, me personally. Even now that I think of it, you know, I'm not going to say our family members' names, but our little bee could probably mm-hmm, wear this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's versatile. I think it's versatile. It's pleasant. It's not, like, a niche in any way. But it's it's definitely pleasant. And it I, it's is. warm and soft and sweet and clean. Uh, it's not overly sweet. It's not sugar. It's not sponge sugar in any way. No, it's not candy sweet. Mm-mm. It's not super juicy berry like my mom said. I don't get tropical from this, but maybe in the right setting, if the That's heat could breathe out. That's what I'm saying, out. y'all. I think this might actually, even though it's got warmth to it, I, I have a funny feeling this might even be better in the summer. I even uh, look at my lipstick. Mm, yeah, it's cute. matches. Mm-hmm. And... I don't know. I can see this, even the color of this vibing in in the summertime, mm-hmm. like summer. It gives me mystical gypsy evening. vibes, kind of. It's, so let's. You've. I think you've done a great job. Thank you for doing this with me. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys subscribe, like, comment on my mom's videos. Thank you. You, Vivi, you have a lot more to do. You've got. Oh, I got glam jasmine. I got a review and. Um, Vivi really liked it, so I gave it to Vivi, but we have to review it. Yeah. You, you, we'll talk about that one later. Let's talk about the notes in this, though. So the top notes are dewberry, passion fruit, and bergamot, which I've already discussed how I feel about those. The middle notes are night blooming jasmine and amber. I think amber's partially giving it that little bit of powderiness, and I think jasmine, so often as it does, gives it that shampoo. I, I often think jasmine can give like a shampoo vibe. So I think that's where that's coming from. And then, of course, tonka bean, vanilla, and Indonesian patchouli leaf are the base. I don't think this has much base to it at all. The vanilla is there. Vanilla and tonka beans there, but it's not and your thick face. or strong. Yeah. And I honestly, the I'm a fan of patchouli. I wish this did have more patchouli. It would have more of a base. The Indonesian patchouli leaf is barely present so if you're not a patchouli fan don't you worry about that because it's yeah it's not patchouli in your face i really don't even get it to be honest i, I, I wear vanilla and patchouli. it's so faintly it's almost non-existent really the aromatherapy line from bath and body with the vanilla patchouli i wear that and i love patchouli i love vanilla um especially paired but i don't get any patchouli from this at all i mean um, maybe that's partially what i'm getting it it is it definitely does not it's not outstanding by itself like you're not going to be like that's patchouli like you know like mm-hmm. i don't get that myself and i can identify patchouli because my mom has worn it and i wear it i wear straight patchouli oil y'all. yeah yeah um um but i like i said it's I, it was it's ever so slight don't worry about the patchouli i think it could use more i th- also think this would be great if it had a nice heavier wood base to it of some kind i agree I agree. But that's an... Go ahead. Well, I was just about to say, I feel like they could have added like a deeper, I don't know how else to describe it, but a deeper, heavier note in there. It is a darker fragrance, in my opinion. Like, it is, it's warm and dark, and I, that's why, I, for me, maybe it, it makes me think winter berry. Like, I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's, I think if I sprayed it really heavily, it went out in this 27-degree weather, 
I think it would smell pretty if y'all are thinking about looking cute and put on your hats and scarves and you, you keep a place. Yeah, it probably is. I, I mean, I just went out there long enough to just check, like, on my front porch. Plus, y'all have to remember, too, I smoke and vape, so my palate is not totally cleansed. It, I definitely smelled it. My mom said she couldn't smell it as much when she had it on. I think you can smell it from afar. I think that men would like this fragrance, especially if they're it's, not super big into strong fragrance. There you go. Uh, because it's not overpowering in any way. It's delicate, uh, but it does project, and you'll be able to smell it. And it's more like a body spray to me, you know. That's why I felt it was important for you to do this video with me. Again, I do want to emphasize that there are several people in comments that say that it actually has decent longevity. I don't know about if they mean it pro how long it projects, but I could see it softly lingering around. Mm -hmm. But the pro I think it's a pretty I, I fragrance. I couldn't go osnomic to it, honestly. Yeah. You know, you came in the room and I was like, I don't really smell it. And you're like, oh, I smelt it as soon as I opened the door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely think it projects. <clears throat> if, if you want to be smelled or smelt, but you don't want to, you don't want to be, like, dictating the room with your it's fragrance. Safe. It's a safe fragrance. It's definitely, and I wouldn't say conservative, on but camera. Safe. It's a safe fragrance. You could wear it, and I feel like it could be a people pleaser. Like, you could wear this, and I feel like the average person would be like, that's pleasant, that's nice. Um, it's not like, and then you'll have the, you never know. You'll have those, some people that go, Oh, what are you wearing? The, the young woman, young lady that in her review, you'll hear her say that. So I will try to put that link. And, and she says that she has received many compliments. And I see why, because it is a good fragrance. And I, I even told my mom that, like, I was like, I would wear it and I don't see a problem with it. I, it wouldn't be my go-to, but I definitely like it. I think it's comparable. Not at all the same, but on like a cousin to Twilight Woods, kind of, you well, know. Maybe let's just spray ourselves like crazy and see. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not even spraying. You know, it is pretty in the air. It is. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's pretty. Okay, maybe I'm even liking it more. It's growing on me the more I smell it. It definitely has um, something to it in the beginning that stands out. Um, at the very least, this will smell great fluff through your hair. Oh, yeah. I could definitely see this being like a hair refresher. Say you go to the gym and you just there want a little go. light spray. I bet this would pick some, because people try not to be heavy at the gym at all. Mm -hmm. I bet uh, if y'all are trying to catch the attention with a not too kicking kung fu kicking fragrance, but that is, is nice, you turn some dudes' heads with it. I feel like when you first spray it, I smell the bergamot. Yeah, I told you. It's mm -hmm. that fruit. I can see where they get the tropical, um, because not everything tropical is suntan lotion. It's like fruit and I don't know, white floral often. Yeah. Not always white floral, but um, yeah, fruit and floral. I'm wanting to smell more patchouli, but yeah, this could smell good in cold weather too. See, it's one of those ones. My ears are ringing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see what a man thinks about this. Should we pause the video while you go ask? Max, what he thinks. Mm -hmm. Max Aroma. Yes. <laughs> Let's spray you some more. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Ooh, we're going to run through this bottle. <laughs> oh, Let me pause our video. We'll find out what Max thinks. Hold on. Wait, okay, we're back. My daughter's boyfriend is in the room. I don't know that he wants to be on camera. It's his birthday, y'all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Scorpio season. Scorpio season. Okay, so what was your initial when Viv walked in there? So they can I, I think it smells kind of fruit i smell fruit and i smell the the powder you get powdery powdery and i have to say real quickly it's not the kind of powder that's like hardcore give you a headache instantly powder some <laughs> are it's a touch of powder it, yeah what is it called oh um perry ellis 18 orchid okay so what are your thoughts what oddly you i don't see orchid listed as a note <laughs> mm -hmm. i smell the Fun powder for i don't know why avon comes to mind Avon. <laughs> you like think of thing. Avon? Does somebody in your family wear Avon? It makes you think. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Smell. Oops. Sorry. <coughs> Smell you, those. Uh oh, you changed my Chill. camera scene. So let's let's hear. Okay, Max turned twenty five today, so this is the perspective of a twenty five year old man, an artist, a musician. <laughs> I just want to say it smells good. Yeah, so it's pleasant. Okay, the thing with, it's like pulling teeth with Max because he's so polite to say, uh, I, no. <laughs> 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 because he's polite. He's like, mm. is it? Is this the same one? 
Yes. Yeah, is it changing for you? Pleasant? Would you go, oh, that person smells good. You know what I mean? Or yeah, oh, it's, it's just pleasant. pleasant. It's pleasant. But it's nothing that, it's not one of the ones Vivi has worn that, where you're like, I really like that one. It is one of the ones that kind of make you want to chill out. It's like a cozy a fragrance. Cozy fragrance, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think it's more youthful, or do you think it's more uh, adult woman fragrance? I think it's more mature. Really? Really? Yeah. See, I felt I felt almost uh, the opposite. You yeah, know, not both that, did. I felt it's versatile, but I felt like it's so it's a polite <coughs> fragrance. Almost like it's it's polite enough for uh, youth to wear. Yeah, because we watched a review with a teenager, I believe that we were both agreeing that we could see how a, a young person. It's it's subtle. Mm -hmm. So, if you had to rate it, in all honesty, one like, one. yeah, because you want to lead people in the right direction, so don't be yeah. kind. Yeah, just be honest. I'd say it's a seven. A seven. Okay. Seven. Okay, that's seven. not bad. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Fair enough. Thank you, Max. Mm -hmm. Birthday boy. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Happy birthday. Appreciate it. You could be on camera if you want. What? Can you Can I be on a camera? <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Max. <laughs> Yeah. Thank right. you, Max. Thank you very much. I think that that rounds it up then. Yeah. And so it's pleasant. It's light. It's polite. It's versatile. It, it could be layered. Uh, it's fun. It's warm. It's cozy. To me, it's more wintry. And by the way, I didn't mean to use the expression pulling teeth. It's just that Max is, does have great <laughs> manners and doesn't, yeah. you know... I feel like he's, he's being nice about he's not, things. He's not because quick. I had him smell at a bunch of stuff the other night. And he's like, it's nice. It's nice. He's not quick to bash a fragrance. He's yes. like, it all smells, you know, generally good. You know, y'all couldn't see on camera, but he said it's one of those that kind of makes you like, mm, like, you know, chill. Mm -hmm. So I could see you being bundled up, you know, and really liking this as a cozy fragrance, you know. So, thanks to my special guest, my daughter Vivi and her boyfriend Max. Yep. You guys, like I said, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching my mom. She is a fragrance junkie. So, <laughs> you know. we'll see you again soon because I'm going to have them go over some more while they're here. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yay. Peace out. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>